Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, your Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, coming to you from our warehouse studio in beautiful Mobile, Alabama, to give you another tutorial video in our series on the Okie Data White Toner Printers. In this video, we're going to talk about the routine maintenance that you need to employ to clean an Oki C711WT White Toner Printer. We're going to go over the supplies that you're going to need, and then we're going to go over the procedure step by step to show you how to clean this unit. Now, it would be nice if everything in the world was maintenance free, but as a product manager I can tell you that rarely happens. Now, when we're talking about the maintenance on something like a white toner printer, what we understand is it's not near the maintenance involved with, let's say, cleaning out something like a white ink direct-to-garment system. So, the procedure is going to be relatively simple and it's something that just about anybody can do. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about the supplies that you're going to need to clean your Oki C711WT. First thing we're going to need, a basic cardboard box that we are going to drop the image drums and toners into, some old t-shirts that we could use as protection, these black bags that came with your unit. If you kept them, great. If not, no big deal, we could work around it. A can of compressed air or you could use shop air. Just make sure if you use shop air, your shop air isn't set to master blaster mode. A painter's mask or a surgical mask, just to protect from free-flying toner. Some sponge tip swabs, where if you need to order these from Condi, the part number is Swab 50. That's S-W-A-B 50. Very inexpensive, handy to have. Some paper towels. Some lens cleaning cloths that you can also order from Condi. That part number is MP013. Great product to have. Some Windex brand window cleaner and some acetone. So now that we have all of our items assembled, let's go ahead and get started with prepping our printer for cleaning. The first thing that we want to make sure is that our Oki unit is powered off and the power cord is removed from the printer. Next, I have taken my box and I put a t-shirt down at the bottom to act as protection for the image drum and toners. When you're laying your t-shirt down, you want to use an old t-shirt. If nothing's printed on it, that's probably your best bet. But now, let's go ahead and open up the printer and let's start removing our image drum and toners. Now, like I said, if you had the black storage bags that came with your printer, You can take the first drum out and toner, slide it inside your black plastic bag, and go ahead and carefully set it down into the box. Now if you don't have the black plastic bags that came with your printer, it is okay. We'll take the next drum and toner set out and the t-shirt that we put down at the bottom of the box should help protect this photoconductive image wheel from scratching. So we'll go ahead and take all four toner and drum sets out and then what we want to do is take another spare t-shirt and gently cover them. Because like I said, we just want to make sure that no light affects that photoconductive wheel. So now, let's close up our box, set this off to the side for now, and the next thing we want to remove is the bottom cassette paper tray. So let's get that. Make sure we remove all the paper from the tray. Angle the tray up slightly to remove it. So now that the printer is prepped, let's begin our first cleaning step by shooting compressed air through the printer. And let me point out the areas that you want to make sure that you spray with compressed air. These metal barbs sticking out here these are the sensors that recognize the toner and drums. You want to make sure those are clean. Also, your toner sensors are located in these recessed holes here. We want to make sure we get those areas with compressed air. Beyond that, we just want to shoot it through the cavity of the printer just to make sure there's no free-floating toner particles. So let's go ahead and shake up.
Okay. As long as you don't see toner accumulated, you should be fine. Then, at the back of the printer, you'll notice this recess area here. This is where a duplex unit would normally plug in, but we want to make sure that we get our compressed air into that cavity. One thing we want to make sure of is that we do not shoot compressed air here or at the side where the vent fan is. If we get that vent fan spinning and break it, we're in big trouble. There's one more area that we need to shoot with compressed air, and that's the recess area where the cassette tray would fit. Okay, finally, we want to make sure that we get compressed air through the area where our cassette tray would hit. Like I said, the main purpose of this is just to make sure we're removing any free-floating toner that might be circulating within the printer. So now we're ready to clean our rubber rollers. The first set of rollers we're going to clean are the take-up rollers for the cassette tray, which are located right here, center, where the cassette tray would fit. To clean this, we are going to need some Windex brand window cleaner, some sponge tip swabs, our Swab 5-0 that you can order from Condi, or you could use a paper towel. So what we're going to want to do is take our sponge tip swab, put some Windex brand window cleaner on it, gently brush and advance the roller and move until we have the entire roller cleaned. Now the reason we want to use Windex brand cleaner as opposed to alcohol is because Windex won't dry out these rubber rollers like alcohol will. It will keep the rollers clean and fresh. So remember there are two sets here. And again use your finger to advance gently wiping until both rollers are clean. There. So now let's move to the second set of rollers that we need to clean which are located on the back exit tray. So now that we're at the back of the printer, let's clean the back exit wheels which are located here. Now in order to advance these wheels you'll notice that they are on gears here. At the very bottom of the gear wheel, you're going to want to push that down to advance the exit rollers here. So let's go ahead and get ready. Windex brand window cleaner, sponge tip swab. We're going to push down on this bottom gear wheel, move the flap, and gently wipe our rollers. We want to make sure that we do not touch the LED print heads while we're doing this procedure. Again, push down, advance the wheel, keep cleaning, until we make sure we've got both wheels completely clean. And now that we've cleaned our exit wheels, the next thing we want to tackle are the LED print heads themselves. So let me grab one of my handy lens cloth cleaners part number MP013 if you need to order them from Condi and let's open up the printer so that we can clean the four LED print heads. The LED print heads are these black strips located on the metal bars here at the top. Make sure you do not touch these LED strips with your bare fingertips. But let's take our lens cleaning cloth and I'll give mine a fold 
And what we want to do is we want to gently wipe these print heads always in one direction. And we want to make sure that we gently wipe all four print heads. Like so. So now that we have the LED print heads clean, let's talk about the last component, which is the fuser assembly, located here in the back of the printer. We want to pull these tabs up to unlock, pulling the fuser out of the printer. Now here is the front of the fuser assembly. Here is the back of the fuser assembly. Notice this gear wheel here. I'm going to use this gear wheel to advance the orange heating roller inside of the fuser. And what I am checking for is any kind of black spots or toner contamination on that fuser wheel. If there's anything there, I want to clean this fuser. We do have a video on Condi TV that's called Cleaning an Oki Data Fuser. If you go to that video, it will show you step by step how to clean out this unit. So now that we have our Oki C711WT cleaned and reassembled, let's discuss how often you should clean your Oki C711WT. It's really going to depend on how often you use the printer. My guideline is this. If you are printing less than 10,000 sheets per month through this printer, you need to go through this maintenance routine about every four to six months. If you're printing somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 40,000 prints per month, then you want to clean out your unit every two to three months. If you're reaching the duty cycle of this printer, which is 75,000 pages per month, then you want to follow this procedure every month. If you do it, you'll have a happy, healthy C71WT that is always going to be there for you. So I hope you enjoyed this cleaning procedure on the Oki C711WT, and I hope you find this information both practical and useful. However, should you have any questions about the cleaning procedure we just did, don't hesitate to contact us direct at 1-800-826-6332, or you can get more information at www.condi.com, and make sure to tune in to more tutorial videos on the Oki White Toner Printer Series. Until then, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up. I thank you for yours. There are so many videos for you to watch, we don't want you to miss out on a single one. So click here to subscribe to Condi TV on our video channel. Click here to like us on Facebook so you don't miss out on anything. And click here to visit this product's webpage.